Hello everybody, Frankie here from Vibrant Center for Voice and Movement. And today I am continuing with the theme of Suzuki Week. But before I get into it, I just want to remind you all that my next round of foundations uh, starts next Wednesday, which is the first Wednesday in June, June 3rd, and runs for 10 weeks. And I call this a course for a reason, because it's a 10 week course. And um, it's an opportunity to rewire your nervous system, to learn how to work with nerves or charge, to learn how to use your voice to support your choices, to support your text, and how to use your body expressively to make ch uh, character choices, and to also understand how the body the nervous system and the voice all work together to create your performance. Importantly too, I think we're in a shifting paradigm and it's um, really vital for actors to learn how to be increasingly flexible and adaptive and also to have their own autonomy because there are a lot of actors now being asked to um, create work at, at home or work with a more limited uh, set or a number of people on set. And that actually gives the actor an opportunity to ensure that they're really self-steering here, that they're not giving up power, they're not looking um, towards somebody else to teach them how to act in the moment, but actually you need to be able to, as you always have, need, need to be able to deliver. So more so than ever, having the ability to um, have the skill set that you own, that you master, being able to listen to your own autonomy, and to be able to take what's happening around you and be able to still do your best are essential attributes to today's actor as uh, our context is constantly changing. I feel like the theme is flexibility. With that in mind, I've been going through some of the Suzuki principles this week. It's not a Suzuki class because of course I can't see you, so I can't offer you feedback or be able to ensure um, technique, but I want you to be thinking about ways that you can use your body and ways that you can challenge yourself as you build your practice. Yesterday was looking at feet and walks and I took you through two walks and encouraged you to play with walks, shoes, and um, you know if that's 100% what I showed you yesterday, what would it be to take it out as a 1% or 2% so that instead of say doing a walk like this, you're simply rolling to the outside of your feet inside your own shoes and how might that change your character? Today, I really want to focus in on the hips and the thighs, a strong base of support. It's really valuable for everybody to have um, strong support here in the body. For us women, this, this is actually part of your abs. This is your core. Uh, but everybody can benefit from this. And for voice, you want to be able to have a strong base of support in this part of your body, not relying on strain or tension up in your rectus, up in um, your rib area, up in your shoulders, your upper chest, and of course up in your throat. The other thing too is with a strong base of support, this enables your, your face to be free as well as your voice so that you're not face act overacting, but that you are released and receptive and then able to show those really small micro expressions that the camera wants to see. So a lot of physical acting is often equated with theater, but, and that's a, a misconception that especially I see in the States, whereas if you look at um, acting training in Ireland, in uh, Eastern Europe, right across everywhere, England, you'll actually see that great film actors have a baseline of practice that is very physical because they understand that the body and the voice and your emotional life are absolutely related. And just like an athlete trains running drills, uh, trains the, the small um, micro um, 
uh, what am I saying, micro movements or, or small muscular connections, balance, right, all of those things to be able to perform the race, to be able to perform in competition, so too must an actor be a physical, vocal, and emotional athlete. So I want to focus in on the Suzuki principle around a strong base. I'd like you to jump your feet out wide and take a low squat, so like a sumo squat, right? And play with how low you can drop. Notice what's happening in your body. And then notice what might start to happen in your brain and in your emotional life. This is hard. This is made to be hard. Let your arms rest on your knees and breathe. One more, jump back in, Whew. and then shake it out. So what did you notice? I came off a very long bike ride, so I'm definitely feeling my hamstrings and my thighs right now. And that additional fatigue may also be really useful. A lot of my acting approach that I teach, I call acting from the outside in. And what that means is by changing my body, then my emotional life is very um, uh, reactive or very spreadable, for lack of a better word, very nuanced. Just by changing my body, I can change my emotions. Just by changing my body, my breath will change. And therefore, it's so yummy to investigate the body. Jump wide again, sumo. <sighs> Let your arms rest. And now pick up your heels. <sighs> Beautiful. And I want you to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Jump back in. <sighs> Shake out. Now notice if that felt harder or easier while you were speaking text to hold that same position. Oh, I'm feeling the desire to stretch the back of the tops of my feet out. It's also really valuable to explore how you can keep your ribs open, how you can keep your throat open, and so that you can support your voice even in really physically grueling uh, positions. If that didn't feel physically hard, drop down a little lower. Certainly lifting your heels up should make it a, an extra challenge, right? So let's do this one more time and this time I really want you to think about your ribs breathing wide as you sing happy birthday. So jump wide, get down in your squat, let your arms be nice and loose and supported. Make sure oh, your shoulders are released. Come up onto your toes. One more time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Jump back in. You can hear that I was getting a little fatigued and there was a little bit of a flutter in my voice. That's actually really yummy right? Because our characters are very rarely um, unemotional, are very rarely perfectly balanced. So where do I want you to take this in your own practice? I want you to explore how you can change your base of support and how that might actually influence your breath, your voice, and your emotional life. Very rarely our characters are perfectly balanced. So why do we do auditions where we make sure that our feet are hip distance apart, that our weight is uh, perfectly balanced across our feet, and even straight on to the camera, right? That's um, a choice, but there are other choices available to you if they suit the situation, the circumstances, the character that you're playing. I want you to take a text from an audition you've done or a piece that you're working on and turn on the camera and explore what it might be like to have your weight slightly, just subtly shifted onto another foot 
and to be off center off the camera. This is something that I teach in the foundations course, a larger um, lesson on the instant warm up. And this includes being off center and off balance and exploring what that does with your voice and for your character. I would highly uh, think, I'll suggest strongly, that it will give a lot of interest in the way that you present on camera. One last time, just to explore fatigue, jump your feet wide, come into a low sumo squat. <sighs> Make sure you're breathing, lift your heels up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Jump back in. Ooh. And what I really enjoyed in my personal investigation was as my legs were burning, as I could feel my legs shaking, it gave me something really yummy to use in my voice, something really compelling. And then hearing that and feeling that um, gave me even further emotional journey to go on. So that's your homework assignment, is to explore moving your body in ways that are evocative, ways that are challenging, ways that are hmm, perhaps yummy, I might say, and then exploring what that does with your voice. And then how can you take that, again, if that's 100%, take this into a one or 2%, oh, I could have my weight shifted and I'm really aware of my right hip in this moment. Oh, and then I'm leading with the left side of my collarbone in this moment and Ah, there's my opening moment before I start speaking in my audition. Really subtle. Not that you're going to audition like this, unless that's right as well. But when you're exploring text, when you're finding what you're going to show and send, I really encourage all of the actors I work with to be very playful, to be big, to be... Um, experimental, like you're a mad scientist, and then to follow the yeses, those yummy moments, and to be able to pull those out and work out what was I doing in my voice? What was I doing with my body? What was happening inside? Was I working with a specific image? Oh, I'm gonna keep that. Too often we look for the immediate, this has to be the right um, option, too soon. The second we pick up the script, okay, I've got to know exactly how to deliver this line. And we don't investigate and go deeper. We don't um, build what, uh, what possibilities we could offer to the casting director that we're sending our auditions to. I want you as actors to be showing what you're capable of as you're building a larger practice and also being able to surprise yourselves. That means that every audition is an opportunity, whether you um, get the role or not, which is something out of your control. What you do have control on is what you learn, what you teach yourself, what skill you strengthen in yourself as you do the work. That's a whole host of reflections coming out of this Suzuki work that I want to offer you. Go take it, explore. Let me know what discoveries you make, what's working for you, what you're um, a little bit uh, challenged by, and I will see you all again soon. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Bye.